Fight Night on the Zone, brought to you by William Hill. Here's what we have coming up live at 7 p.m. on the Zone. Hamza Udin versus Ben Norman. A brilliant fight between Cameron Vong and Gavin Gwynn. Kieran Conway versus Ryan Kelly for my old title, the Commonwealth middleweight title. And then the war, the out and out war from Conor Walker and Lewis Richardson. Can't be anything other. And then the WBC interim world flyweight title between Sonny Edwards and Galau Yafai. Let's keep it clean, boys. Obey my instructions at all times. I've asked you to break. Stop boxing, take a big step back. Most important, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Competitor in this round, doesn't he, Norman? Oh, good left foot. That right hand is a little low of Udin. He's doing really, really well in this round, Norman. Good work. Good work to the body, though, from Udin. Udin, there's been much more to think about, much more to work through than in his first two professional contests. And that in itself can be innovating. Nice left uppercut slip through there from Udin. That was a lovely shot. He avoided the, the barrage really, really well, Norman, but it was that last shot that slipped through. looking for the big shots to provide a grandstand finish at the end of the sixth and final round. He's still undefeated, Hamza the Great Udin. To use Cameron Bond's phrase, he said he gassed a bit in the closing rounds against Jeff Ofori in this arena back in June. He said that was a turning point in his career when he realised that the flashiness wasn't nearly as important. And that can be so important also as you go through the grades. The need to punch with at least the power that gains the respect of an opponent. Lovely right-hand counter from Vong. A beautiful shot, a hurtful shot, and a shot that will damage that eye far worse. But, but still, comes Gwyn comes Gwyn. straight back. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my he is relentless. And still, Quinn keeps coming, and this is turning into a long, hard night for Cameron Vaughn in his seventh professional fight. Quinn working away to the body. Under the lights here now, Vaughn is really having to dig. Yeah, and he's boxing nice here, keeping it in range. Good right hand. The thing is, as well, even though Green's throwing them shots, if you look at Cam's face, it's not as bruised and, you know, the impact isn't showing that much because he does ride the shots, Cam, is very well at doing that. Keep the shape is the urging from Jamie Moore in the corner. Great shot there. Half a minute to go, and likewise, Cameron Vong, whatever he goes on to achieve, will look back on this fight as an important night, a crucial night in his development, as the two of them still far away, digging, digging all the way to the final bell. It's been like this for much of the contest, and that just sums up the ambition and the desire of Gavin Gwynn all the way oh. to the final bell. What a final round, what a finish. Terrific contest. Both men raise their arms, both men claiming victory. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in Birmingham, we go to the judges' scorecards. Victor Lachlan, 97-94. Lee Every, 96-95. Mark Lyson, 96-94. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated. The one, Cameron Vaughan. OK, gents, you know the rules. Obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. Touch gloves. Let's do it. Get to get going, Kieran Conway. Yes. Yes. 
has been guilty of being a slow start in the past. This magnitude, though, we was on the line. Let's get busy. That's good. And he's going again. He's up in the tempo. Conway better. Better intent in the work of Kieran Conway. Yeah, it was good from Conway, but it was a curve from Kelly. Lazy stepping back with that chin up. Yeah, he's grown with confidence with Hazzy as, as the rounds have gone on. Better. Again, Kelly going back in a straight line. He's just a completely different fight here on Conway. I mean, he lets his hands go and really believes in himself. He just lost this shape ever so slightly, Kelly. I wouldn't say the hand speed has, has dipped, but the, the speed of foot seems to have slowed down a little. Stopped him getting out the, the way of the shots of Conway. So impressive, Conway, when he gets that left hand to work. Lovely there from Kelly, lovely sharp left hook. Really nice combination from Conway at one two left hook. Good feet out of range afterwards, he's avoiding the shot from Kelly. Good pressure, good work to the body from Conway. Look up with the body shot there, Kelly, but they're both throwing left hooks. And still John Costello in the corner urging Kelly forward. One final assault, one final attempt to drag the Commonwealth Championship his way. Goes through with a right hand, been landing that shot pretty much from the first round. Conway gets up on his feet, tries to land the jab at the end of 12 very competitive rounds. Lee Every, 116, 112, Conway. Mark Lyson, 115, 114, Kelly. Kevin Parker scored this bout, 115 to 113 for your winner by split decision. And the new vape, the new Commonwealth middleweight champion, Kieran Tuklas Conway. Okay, boys, both know the rules. I want you to obey my commands. Tell you to break, break clean. Defend yourselves at all times, boys. Touch gloves. Good right hand there from Walker. I really do feel it's going to be the body shots that are going to do the damage against Ritson here. Walker he needs to be smart, needs to set the traps. Good movement though from Ritson there, just moving back round to near centre ring, just allowing space behind him. Here in the welterweight division, we move into round five. Connor Walker applying the pressure throughout against Lewis Ritson, who's been trying to catch his man on the way in. Sharp shooting, pouncing in particular with the left hook. Oh, big right hand from Walker. Walker once again switching the attack from body to head. Walker won all six rounds completed at that stage and the fight has followed a very similar pattern and can now produce a grandstand finish as Walker applies that pressure in his own corner, that blue corner. Where is the response from Ritson? Referee Mark Rison looking on now. Yeah, this is a brilliant attack from Walker. It's a sustained attack. He's not letting Ritson breathe. Head, body, swarming all over him. And Ritson's corner are urging him forward here. Just over 45 seconds to go. And can it be a sensational turnaround? Walker lands, Ritson lands, firing away to the final bell. And still they exchange all the way to the final bell. Ritson now, you can sense, exhausted. Walker still on the front foot, still firing away from the first bell to the last. from Lewis Ritson, an acknowledgement from Ritson. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Connor the Hulk Walker. Okay, lads, when I say stop, you stop boxing. When I say break, take a step back. Keep your hands up, protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you both. Good luck. 
to skillful operators who know each other so well. They know each other's strengths. They know each other's oh. weaknesses. And a good right hook from Galal Yafai in the opening exchanges. What a brilliant start by the Olympic champion against a former world champion. A lovely shot. But it was a short right hand come out of nowhere. He seems to have touched down for a, a split second there, Sonny. Fantastic start from Galal Yafai. And now looking to build on that. We all thought he had to suffocate the space. He's done just that, hasn't he? There's no escape route here for, for Edwards at the minute. And with those long reaches as well that he has, yeah, he can, he can play from further out than, than maybe you feel more comfortable at. Edwards looking for the escape route, attempting to cover up. Good work there from Yafai, not loading up as they were telling him in the corner. And some relaxing, a good right hand again there from Yafai. After good work to the body. He looks solid, he really does go out, Yafai. Very strong, powerful. Right, stand not too close to him, lad. Stand not too close. Have you got any, 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 have you got any in your legs to keep moving? Man. No, I'm going to be real quick. Well, I don't want to be. Stupid. Don't be stupid, lad. Don't be, don't stop. Listen, I'm feeling sorry for yourself right now. Stop feeling sorry for yourself because you've had one bad round. Fight down on your gum shield. I saw you fing head out. He doesn't want to be there. I, I, I think he said that. This is not the Sunny Evans we've seen in the past. And you might ask the question, can he keep this going for the 12 rounds of a championship fight? But he's had some tough 10 rounders, began his professional career at 10 rounds. And again, Yafai drives his man back to the ropes. There's a lovely uppercut in that exchange there from Yafai just a second ago. Oh, again, the left hand flush. That's more like the Edwards there, they're whipping the uppercut. As Yafai has yet more success. He just cannot keep him up. It's the interminable throw now. Yafai has his man in his own corner, the blue corner. Edwards swaying, bobbing, weaving, looking for an opportunity to throw the counter. But Yafai is just relentless. And a gasp from sections of the crowd as Yafai now makes another big attack. With just under half a minute to go in round number five, Edwards does fight back. Despite wondering earlier on why he's in the ring. I think the corner of Bora have a look here. Yafai dancing around his man, giving himself angles here. And Edwards just simply doesn't have the answer. And the referee is asking Edwards to show him something here. This could be a big pivotal moment in the fight. Edwards in the neutral corner, firing single shots. Will that be enough for the referee? Into the second minute of round number six. And the referee steps in. And that is a quite sensational victory for Galal Yafai, the Olympic champion takes a step closer to becoming world champion in the professional ranks. And the referee had born Sonny Edwards. He's still undefeated. And the new interim WBC flyweight champion of the world, Galal Yafai. Well, the bookmakers couldn't separate them in the build-up. It was virtually an even-money fight. It turned out to be anything but. Sonic the Hedgehog was only room in this world for one of us. Shadow is the most dangerous being on this planet. Can we just talk about this? He is much more impressive than the Hedgehog I fought previously. Dude, I'm standing right here. Let's do this! When we're done, there won't be anything left. I need to stop them. Set up defense. Yikes. Very funny autocorrect. Sonic 3, Witty PG.